I made some adjustments here for the snare drum. And you'll see here, I did a little, I just want to hear one of these right there. Just that one snare drum, this one here. Other ones I can add those in later on. And we hear it back. So here, okay, you got that. You got that. Now, let's go. Um, I want to add something else. I'm going to go here, and I've got dynamic selected, and I want to get some sort of compression. And I want to get some sort of punch on the kick. So I want to put this here. And that goes right there. I want to get some crackle on the snare drum. I go right here. Snare crack. Okay, good. So you're getting the idea. I'm going through the effects. I'm picking effects out. I made a brand new group, group C. All right? And this will be my compression group. So I'll call this a comp group. Let me go here, comp. That's something comp right there. I'm going to go back to the original kit. In this kit, I want to add some on here. Right? So I already got that going. That's kind of cool. Now what I want to do here is look at this from my sends, right? So my send is going there directly. I want to take this here and I want to send it into this here. Right? And then I want to play it back. Now it's much stronger. hitting a little bit harder. I like that. I'm going to do the same with the kick drum. I'm going to go to my kick drum, which is here. I'm going to make a send for it. Here's my sends. Rather than coming through the group, I want to send it through the punch G kick compression. Matter of fact, I can see here it's too loud, right? You can see the little thing up there. I'm too loud with that hi hat, a snare rather. I'm gonna bring it down just to here. Go to here. So you see it added some punch to it, right? I don't wanna get too loud, it'll sound great in the speakers. I wanna make sure I get enough compression on those sounds. Now, I can go back to here. All right, that's my delay. But here in this track, I got a comp here. So my destination now, I can send it back to here now. So I added compression to it. Then I sent it right back into the delay it was in before. So I'm using two effects now. Compressor first, then the delay. Oh, that's cool. Now I go back to here. I want to hear everything. Maybe, maybe. A little too loud there a little bit. I want to make sure I don't want to peek out here in my audio output. Now I can do one more thing. I want to come here and I think I want to try something like some sort of EQ and I want to get it on the bass somehow so um, I know there's some stuff here in the bass filter. I can do some bass stuff here. There's loudness. And I think the bass is loud enough. I want to get a little deeper low pass follower here. So this is cool. And I put this here for low pass follower. It's a low pass filter. And I can see that there. Low pass filter. Here's the cutoff. Here's the resonance. The amount. And the shape, of course. And it's envelope. And it's low pass, right? For LP. Now, I want to send the bass there. I'm going to go back to this kit. I know my bass is somewhere on here. So let's look for the bass. And I believe that bass is right here. Here's the bass. So I select the bass. That's it. I just heard it. Now, I want to go here to my send for the levels. I want to make the destination to be for this low pass filter. Hear it back now. I can hear the deepness now, even the difference now. I can hear the difference. Now I'll play this back. A little bit, up a little more. And you'll see it right here as it appears here. Let's solo that up. Yep, 
looks pretty good. I can also increase it here if I want to. Because it's deeper now. And now I'll unsolo it. I'm just right clicking on the number to solo and unsolo. So I'm just using what's inside of machine. I pulled up a machine kit, I pulled up a machine pattern, and I'm applying the effects as separate groups, and I'm making these things, these effects, the delay, the compressor, and this low pass EQ, which I put here, which is an LP, F-O-L-L -L follower. I call it that. And then it's good. Now, I'll play it back from the top. I got some more bass. I hit my clap, my bass drum is right in there. So the purpose of this lesson is to show you that a group can be also effects. And then you can start using groups to add, you know, keyboards or whatever. But I prefer to build up my track, see what's there, what I'm capable of, before I even try to maybe take this out and using a different door like Pro Tools or Logic and really start getting busy. But this is a great way for you to use the effects in machine to work out your beats.